Hello, my darlings. My name is Sylvia Dorkable, and I was asked to show you guys a little bit about Restream Studio, which is a new feature for Restream IO, which if you don't know, I actually use Restream IO for every single one of my live streams. It's a very simple way to stream to multiple platforms simultaneously. Um, and the chat feature that they have actually covers pretty much all of those platforms simultaneously as well, so that you can see all of the different chatters from all your different platforms. So this is specifically for Restream Studio, though. So obviously this is sponsored by Restream, and Restream is actually a really interesting concept. So it's a website that you can go to, which is restream.io, and you can sign up and do various different platforms. So for example, I can stream on Steam, Twitch, Picardo, which is an artist one, uh, Facebook's Mixer, Periscope, and YouTube all at the same time from my OBS without any issues. So it's actually very useful. They even have various different other um, platforms that I've never even used or heard about, but obviously someone has and they're popular. But what we're talking about today is specifically Restream Studio, which is something I recently discovered. And if you go in and log in, you will see all of your different options, and it is just Live Studio right there. So it's actually pretty easy. It is a web-based program so that you do not actually have to have a program installed on your computer, which makes it very easy for any type of uh, PC that you don't necessarily want to install anything, or possibly a cloud-based PC such as Chromebooks. So really simple. You have the mute, you have your disable camera, screen share, invite guests, and settings. So we are going to go in here and you will notice that just about every single one of these is one of mine. There we go. And then obviously we are going to want to use my real webcam. So you guys get to see me without my usual wig. So lucky you. And so this is actually very crisp, very clear. I like it a lot. Um, it's great if you were to do something such as like a tutorial using something that you have here and not necessarily a lot of layouts. However, I will get into that. So the great thing about this, though, is that you are able to have all of your chat simultaneously here. So you can actually see I have just about everything there where I can talk either to all of the platforms or to just one of the platforms by selecting, for example, Twitch. So what we are going to do is we are going to go to setup. Now, obviously, since this is just going to be a little demonstration, I don't really want to, to live stream to all of my platforms because they'll be a little confused. So we're just going to go through and select just one. It's going to be Steam, because I don't really think many people watch me on Steam. There are more options and everything, but we can pretty much testing Restream Studio Live. And we can update all, which will pretty much update all of these, which is very nice. I'm not going to be using them all, but it's still nice to know. So we actually have a lot of really cool things. You can also do screen share. And it will show you exactly which screen you want to do. So if I wanted to, that's, goodness, that is really creepy. Because if you think about it, now we're just seeing way too much going on here. But it's nice to know that if I wanted to, I could also do tutorials of what I'm doing on Stream Live, on Stream Live. Just a little inception there. So. With that being said, you can actually go to things such as captions, graphics. So a lot of the time, if you want to, you'll have like something like that. I have my own little thing, it's my own little logo, but you could actually upload your own as well. It's pretty simple, just pops up. Got boop, my little waifu. I can choose that. And now I have my monster waifu logo. If I wanted to hide it, Super easy. Just click on it again. It's gone. Same thing goes with overlays. So it's actually kind of nice because you can design your own overlays and lay these out. And just like that, there's a, actually a little thing going on right up there. But 
If I wanted to upload my own, I could. If I wanted to not. And it would be great because you could essentially end up putting just about anything along the bottom as well. Now, the great thing is, is that, yeah, there's all these like cool things you can do. I can do that. I could have my watermark, everything like that. But you can also do call to actions, which they call them captions, but they're called actions. So obviously they have a couple automatically put in there, such as, oh, Restream allows you to to stream live to 30 social platforms at once. And you can actually have that up for as long as you want. So it'd be really good if you wanted to essentially have something showing up at the bottom where you're like, hey guys, check this out. So like, for example, it's like, hey guys, check out my Patreon. It's right there. I could actually do another, be like, follow me on Twitter. And it would just be tweet, actually, silver dorkable. And you just add the caption, done. So I can actually use a call to action or caption as they call them to tell you more. Just check out Live Studio at Restream.io. But ultimately, I would suggest this for anyone who wants to do a simple live stream, preferably using only one window, either your webcam or a window that you're doing, such as a game window, and you don't want to download any programs. It's definitely not made for having multiple layers working at once, such as a webcam in the corner and your gameplay in the center. But this is made for more simple things such as tutorials, being able to like style a wig on on stream and show you guys exactly how it's done. Pretty much anything that you wouldn't want too many moving parts. And it's very simple and efficient. And honestly, in some things, that's exactly what you want. So I would suggest this heavily or at least for you to take a look at this. Um, Going live is super easy. You just make sure you have exactly what you want to go live on. You hit go live, it connects, it is live. And then when you're done, finish, it'll be like, are you sure you want to finish? Be like, yes, I do want to finish. Thank you for asking me. And then it will just ask you about your experience. So that being said, I hope all of you have a chance to take a look at Restream Live Studio. Um, it was actually a honor to be able to be asked to do something for them because I use them very, very much. Uh, I depend on them very heavily when it comes down to my live streams, which are every Monday through Friday from uh, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time until 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I hope all of you will join me then. I hope all of you will take a look at this wonderful sponsor of Restream.io, and I will see you on the next episode. Love you, darlings.